Alright, so last night I was texting my friend in the middle of the night at like 11 something at night, and I happened to um, get into a conversation with him about me being the president and him being whatever, so here it is. You are the U.S. President. I'm the Sec Secretary of Defense. Mr. President, if I may, there are some disturbing readings coming from our satellites over western Ukraine and Russia. What do the readings say? According to satellite imagery, the readings appear to be missile launches. We are unsure of where they are headed. We have also lost all contact with our Pacific submarines and Russian ambassador. Sound the nuclear alarms and have display... I didn't mean to say have display, and display a public broadcast announcement saying that we do not know exactly where these missiles are headed, just for safe measure. Yes, sir. I'll get on it right away. 30 minutes pass. Sir, I have arranged a flight from San Francisco to D.C. So, I could, so that I can meet with you in person. The public announcement has been sent. The missiles are headed eastbound from Moscow. Two nuclear detonations occur in Paris and Berlin just 10 minutes after. Sir, I am on Air Force One and am route and on route to DC. The Prime Minister of England wishes to speak with you. Put him on. The British Prime Minister. Mr. President, I am assured that you are indeed aware of the horrific acts of Russian terrorism in France and Germany. Yes, I am aware. British Prime Minister. Then I am sure you've concluded that surely London has a large target on it. We must act fast. Swig's entire bottle of tea in point five seconds. We shall declare war on Russia. I already have. We are launching our nuclear arsenal as we speak. Primary targets are Moscow, Volgograd, Leningrad, and St. Petersburg. London is then completely obliterated due to a third missile launch from western Ukraine, killing the Queen, the queen and Prime Minister. A hey, uh, secretary, what just happened? It appears London was just wiped off the face of the earth, sir. Well, I'll be damned. Send a nuclear missile towards Moscow. Moscow is no more, sir. Britain has destroyed it, along with all other major cities. Okay, is there any other Russian territory that hasn't been destroyed yet? Vice President Leathers joins the virtual meeting. Mr. President, I'm afraid our worst nightmares are at our cost. A, Ro a Russian nuclear submarine was just spotted off the coast of Seattle. Get everybody in a fallout shelter now. VP Leathers. The media and news have just issued nationwide warnings as well as in Canada. What are the options that we can do as of this moment? Secretary, you are dismissed. I must talk to the President alone. Commander of the Pacific Fleet, Admiral Limpdick Nugget, was quick on his feet and ordered destroyers to both blockade every major coastal city and hunt down the Russian threat. Very good. Admiral Limpdick Nugget always knows what to do. Keep track of what goes on with the blockade and the threat. Just after Seattle, just after Seattle lost her. In, oh my god, I'm stupid. Just after Seattle, San Francisco, San Jose, and Los Angeles were all destroyed by nuclear warheads from the Russian submarines. This, however, gave up the location of the subs, and the U.S. Navy was able to destroy them. And with that being said, thank you everybody for watching. This has been The History of War, and good night. In 50s white guy radio voice, tune in next week to find out what happens next. Same bat time, same bat channel. You know, in all fairness, Admiral Limpdick Nugget sounds like a pretty cool guy. He really does.